Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Um, today we're doing an update on the soursop or graviola um, seeds that planted. Um, gosh, back in October and I've been checking on them regularly, wondering what's happened to them. I know one person did inquire what had happened to my soursop uh, because I, I believe that person, I, I'd sent them some seeds and theirs germinated fairly quickly. And the seeds were all from a fresh fruit that I bought a couple of months ago. And it was the first time trying um, soursop. Very similar to, it, it was much larger than uh, cherimoya or atafol. But it, on the inside, the, the fruit, the flesh, the taste... It wasn't sour, as the name indicates. It was quite sweet. So, um, yeah, I think they you know, obviously they must be related in some way. Um, the cherimoyas and the graviola or soursop. So here I've got some trays. I've got various seeds planted in here. Um, I'll just go to this tray here little tub up I put these in so that's uh, one of the soursop seeds and you can see the leaves are kind of a shiny although it's got water on it the, the leaves are sort of a waxy um, type of leaf they're not fuzzy like cherimoyas cherimoya leaves are a little bit dry and uh, they've got little, tiny little hairs on them but this one doesn't have that so the waiting for a few more to pop up out of here um, so pop that back down and here is the tray with the soursop. You can see I planted those back in uh, October the 13th so just about eight weeks now and they're all starting to come through. You can see these loops they've not yet um, you know broke the surface properly but here you can see these ones have got their first leaves one of them here um this one obviously no leaf on it because that seed there was um capped on the top of it and it sort of refused to budge and it fell off taking the leaf with it but i've left this as it is because it might it might generate a new leaf so i'm, I'm going to leave that alone but these have all got their first leaves. So I've got three uh, and, and the other one down there, four. So I've got four soursop and maybe a few more. So that's the update on the soursop. I will transplant them into larger pots. I think I'll do that when all of the others have emerged properly. And then I'll lift them out and put them in a larger pot. I'll probably put them together in a group. You know, I'm not going to individually pot them up. So, soursop. I have got some cherimoya at the back there. They've also germinated. But I'm going to do a separate video on those. Um, because I've got an update on the cherimoya plant that I got from eBay. Um, well, my husband bought that for me. So I'm going to do an update on the cherimoya. I'll do that a separate video. But there, there we have it. Soursop. Grown in the UK. If anybody else is growing soursop and you've got any tips on how to keep the plants alive and healthy. Um, you know, what kind of compost have you got them in? What kind of heating, lighting uh, requirements? Fertilising, you know, do they need a lot of feeding, etc.? please um, put a comment in the comment box below. So thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.